science, and I'm increasingly aware of the major ta changes taking place in gender identity and relationships. Opportunities and challenges have been realized in recent decades, whether you're a man or a woman, that strike us as familiar and at the same time are at odds with our traditional beliefs. Our task as postmodern philosopher and queer theorist Judith Butler described it is the need for, quote, new legitimating lexicon for gender complexity, end quote. Butler suggests that we have been sensing the sea change of gender identity with our bodies through our experiences, but without the words. So we cannot fathom these changes. For evolutionary theorists such as David Buss, culture is a thin veneer over thousands of years determined by biological necessity. Moving to the culture argument, chief in importance is social learning theory as an explanation for gendered development. Briefly, rewards and punishments from infancy, as well as modeling the behaviors of those around one, creates one's gendered lives. In this photo of children of around 18 months, Ben Bradley, a developmental psychologist, has produced empirical studies demonstrating how children as young as these copy each other in various ways. Note how the babies are touching their toes, one imitating the other. The poor baby with shoes on can't participate, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, you, you wonder why Ben didn't think to take their shoes off. I mean, it's not fair. <laughs> Throughout our lives, we act according to what we see around us. Here's uh, Sean washing the dishes and shoveling, well, some snow, I guess, there he's shoveling. <laughs> 